What's Mr Tidy hiding? He's been bankrupt multiple times, but he lives like a billionaire. There's a long list of investors wanting to know where their money's gone, but all they get from him is excuses. From gambling sprees to a banged-up Lamborghini, tonight, Robert Tidy's history laid bare. When you live life in the fast lane, sometimes you come unstuck. You live in a life of luxury, when are you going to get these so what, investors what did, their money back? Did... As the trail of losses now tops $18 million. In a heartbeat, we lost our money. From people wishing they'd never met Robert Colin Tidy. Our whole world came crashing down. Since we first uncovered the five-star lifestyle of a man who's filed for bankruptcy three times, more people have come forward sharing more heartbreak. What impact has Robert Tidy had on your life? He's absolutely devastated me. I have sleepless nights. I have nightmares. He's dashed our hopes of ever having the life which we've worked so hard and saved so hard to have. Jennifer Hercules and Eric Buckley are one of the largest individual investors impacted by Robert Tidy's failed business ventures, with losses totalling more than a million dollars, some of it from her super. Don't believe a word he says. He promises you the world and delivers zero. But they aren't the only ones now speaking out. A current affair has received more than 50 emails from people who claim to have lost money across a range of Robert Tidy's planned cryptocurrencies, most of which have never launched. Rob Tidy's dirty laundry goes so far back, it's actually ridiculous how he's managed to get away with it for this long. He knew I was a battling sole parent living on a disability support pension. The man has no moral code or ethics. Let's give this scumbag what he deserves. It's not only angry investors coming forward, but also former girlfriends who claim to have witnessed Robert Tidy living a sleazy lifestyle. His Instagram account has several posts containing scantily clad women he'd met in a trip to Townsville. His Twitter account, which has now been shut down, also reveals this comment made to Sophie Monk about a picture of her in a Milan hotel room. How long are you there? Are you solo? There are many intangibles. One of these women claims Robert Tidy also went on gambling sprees, telling her he'd lost up to $250,000 in a single day. Gates crash and they're racing in the Melbourne Cup. As the son of well-known Sydney bookmaker Colin Tidy, Robert has often claimed to be an expert in picking winners, like the Melbourne Cup two years ago with Twilight Payment. Twilight Payment, what a ride, what a win. The then bankrupt Robert Tidy posted his winning bets publicly to his Instagram account, claiming the bets were for his punters club. And 434 from 30 grand, and I've got a lot of other bets still going, the quaddy all up. Robert Tidy shouldn't be punting in this country at all. He'd been disqualified from betting with any Australian wagering operator since 1997. Racing New South Wales advised the ban is still current and was due to defaulting on bets. There's the big one, the multi. A current affair has since obtained videos and pictures distributed by Robert Tidy among his investor group showing 179 bets worth $168,000 in a single day. And last year's Melbourne Cup was a wipeout, with Tidy loading up again on twilight payment which Mr. Place. And it's very elegant. A former staffer of Rob Tidy's, whose identity we agreed to conceal, says they witnessed him gambling at Townsville Casino whilst bankrupt. Playing the pokies, so we're probably talking five to ten grand at casinos on the pokies. And that was in the time that he was a bankrupt? Yes. Rob, in my opinion, was a com total compulsive gambler. Jennifer and Eric say they weren't aware of the extent of Robert Tidy's gambling activity until after they had invested with him. When we first met, I told him that if it had anything to do with horse racing, we were out straight away. Like other burnt investors, the couple believed Robert Tidy to be a billionaire, 
based on the lavish lifestyle he led and his generosity in shouting them a holiday to North Queensland. He said, I'll pay for the lot. He said, leave your credit cards at home. We didn't have to do anything. He booked the aeroplane tickets. He booked the hotel, everything. So, you know, um, we were going out with a billionaire. And a generous billionaire at that. A generous, exactly. And um, everything he said was still believable. One thing Robert Tidy is good at is sounding believable, as we discovered when we confronted him in Sydney last month over his failed barter coin venture. Everyone that invested had a piece of paper. I didn't talk to these people, I didn't sell them. It wasn't me calling them up, saying, hey, listen, buy this. But when you probe a little deeper, things start to change. But you're not looking at the positives, the, the successful businesses that I've been involved with. And just list me those again. City Index, I set that up in Australia. What, what year was that? 97. Robert Tidy's LinkedIn account has recently been changed to the name of W Singleton. Previously, it had listed a role of marketing executive at City Index Australia. What other successful businesses? I've been involved in many. Can you name any others? I've been many. You know, over the years, I've, no. I had Tidy Laybets. You know, I had. I had that, that was a successful business. I had, you know, again, do you think Many, about... many, you've told me two, and I don't think, I think only one of them would oh. be called a successful business. ASIC searches reveal Robert Colin Tidy has been a director of 21 different companies, 16 of which are now either deregistered or under external administration. There are also questions over claims on his various ventures that 10% of profits are given to charity. How much have you actually given to charity over plenty, the years? Plenty. How much? Plenty. Would be easily over 300,000. And to which charities? To many. Father Riley, Youth Off the Street. What? How much would have gone to him? I reckon I would have given maybe 100 to that charity. Father Chris Riley told The Current Affair there is no indication anyone named Robert Tidy has ever donated to youth off the streets. I've never seen a cent go to a charity and I don't believe there's ever been a cent go to charity. Robert Tidy provided a note from 25 years ago indicating he did once pay for kids and staff from the charity to attend a State of Origin game. Nowadays, he woos new investors with warm hospitality. Jennifer and Eric were taken out on fishing trips by Robert Tidy and also wined and dined at expensive restaurants, even celebrating his birthday with him. This is Rob's 50th birthday lunch. Hey. We're just hey, looking at all the yummy food. They also attended his 50th birthday party at the sprawling mansion where he lives at Mount Tambourine near the Gold Coast, which is owned by his mother. He said that we were his family that he never had. He wanted us to be his lifetime family. Eventually, they say, Robert yeah. Tidy started offering investment information too. He said that it was better to sell some of my shares and invest the money with him because the money would be a lot safer with him. They had no idea of his bankruptcy history prior to making five separate investments in Robert Tidy's various cryptocurrency ventures called Zipit, the final instalment of more than $600,000 was to give them shares in a company called ZCVC. That both Eric and I would become directors so that we'd have control over the company and that we would, he would also put me on as a bank signatory, which never happened. It didn't seem that there was any major risks um, because there was, it, was our, it would be our company. But within months of handing over the last instalment, Robert Tidy emailed with some shocking news. Hi, Jen. I'm really embarrassed at how this has all turned out. Going on to explain, she would need to write off 400 grand before partly blaming the Punters Club Melbourne Cup disaster and his investment strategy. Oh, I know, you were aware this was going to be highly aggressive. He told me it was minimal. Minimal risk. Minimal risk. What would you have done if you'd known these investments were highly aggressive? I would never have invested. Mm. Not even a dollar. 
A current affair has obtained further documents tallying up the full extent of Robert Tidy's abysmal financial history. 5.1 million in unpaid debts to 28 creditors in his 2007 bankruptcy. 7.9 million owing in his latest bankruptcy, including almost $1 million to the Australian tax office as well as $3.2 million worth of investors' money in Bartercoin that is now worthless, and another $2.2 million in Zippet coins that have so far failed to launch, all up an $18 million trail of financial misery. And that doesn't include the $365,000 Lamborghini written off after Robert Tidy crashed it on the Pacific Highway. I feel very sorry for not only me, but all the other people. Because I know there's always people in a worse position than us. And they must be hurting just as badly as I am, or even worse. Robert Tidy answered a series of questions via email claiming he did not say there was no risk in relation to Jennifer Hercules' investment. Also stating his bankruptcy trustee was informed of his gambling, which involved bets placed for other people. He admitted to gambling at Townsville Casino while bankrupt, which he claims his trustee approved. In his mind, Robert Tidy believes he's a financial genius. You've got to understand, I charge $5,000 an hour. For what? For my, my skills. What are your skills? Company doctor. Sorry? A company doctor. He even uses the title doctor on hotel bookings. Was Robert Tidy ever a doctor? Absolutely not. <laughs> no. Does he ever use that title? Yes, he does. This former staffer says she witnessed Robert Tidy's high-pressure sales tactics that convince people to invest so much money. There's always this last-minute sales and cheap this, and you can if you do it now, you'll get it for cheap. And if because you've because I've rolled you over from the last project, I'll give you this at a discounted rate. How bamboozling is all this stuff for that investor to understand? Oh, 100 percent. What are you saying? 100%. He's probably the most persuasive and convincing person I've ever met. And he always has an answer. What would you say to Robert Tidy himself if he's watching this? I am so disappointed in you, Rob. We loved you. We trusted you. We brought you into our home. You told us we were your family and that you would always look after us. Yes, you've really looked after us. Robert Tidy's latest crypto project has now apparently collapsed too, telling investors by email that a current affairs reporting is to blame. We'll be monitoring the fallout of that one.